Hi, this is Roger from AirTanksPlus.com. If you'll give me a little bit of your time, I'm going to talk to you about buying used SCBA tanks. And um, there's just different options to do that. One of the options is eBay. You can find some fantastic deals out there um, if you're willing to do the work. There's also a, uh, a reconditioned option that I'll talk to you today about. And of course, the new option. So these are SCBA tanks. They're firefighters tanks. They're used um, by the emergency services. You'll see them used all over the world. Uh, typically, these the newer ones hold 4,500 psi. Some of the older ones hold 2,200 psi and uh, 3,000 psi. So one of the things to avoid when you buy one of these on eBay is to avoid buying one of the ones that are only 2,000 or 3,000 psi. Uh, don't make that mistake. This is going to save you some grief. Um, another thing to avoid if you do try and buy one of these on eBay, when you see somebody selling these tanks and they don't show you a picture of the actual, there's a label there, they'll have it at a different angle where you can't, you won't be able to see this. That's very important. I'm going to cover what this is and uh, why it's so important to you. And I'm also going to talk about buying a uh, refurbished or repurposed tank and uh, how that works and then buying new, new tanks. So to get started, these tanks have a 15 year life expectancy right now. So the current rules say that these tanks can only be in service for 15 years. So the born on date of this tank in particular is two of four. That means this tank was made February of 2004. So 15 years from this date, this tank expires. So currently this tank is set to expire on February of 2019. So after that date, you will not be able to get this tank refilled. There's also something called a hydrostatic test that must be performed on these SCBA tanks. It must be performed every five years on these larger tanks. Now what a hydrostatic test is, is where they actually, they'll take this valve off, they'll clean the tank up for you, they'll um, check the inside of the tank and they'll pressurize it, they'll pressure test it. They usually, typically they put it in, a, in water and they um, fill it to a pressure, a test pressure of the tank and they'll check for expansion. You can see this expansion range right here is what this tank is rated for. So if it exceeds this, then this tank will fail hydro testing. The good news is um, I've never seen a tank, carbon fiber tank, fail hydro testing. But don't take a tank in that's over um, that's over 15 years old or a lot of them will just destroy the tank. You won't even get your tank back. Okay, so there's different sizes of these tanks. This tank is a 30 minute. A 30 minute is a 44 cubic foot tank. They make this tank in a 30 minute, a 45 minute, and a 60 minute. There are some exceptions to larger tanks, but those are the main ones that are used for the firefighters. So a 30 minute tank is 44 cubic feet. A 45 minute tank is um, 66 cubic feet at 4,500 PSI. And then a 60 minute tank is 88 cubic feet at 4,500 PSI. So there's a lot of air here. Um, you'll want to use a carbon fiber tank to fill your PCP air rifle simply because you'll get more usable air per fill. So the first thing before you buy a, buy a SCBA tank after watching this video is you need to go to your local dive shop or fire extinguisher place and see if they'll fill this tank for you. Some dive shops will fill it, some of them won't fill it. So you'll need to find a dive shop in your area that can fill this tank. Now there's also the ability to uh, fill it from a compressor. These compressors are really dropping in price uh, right now. Um, a high-end or a, a current compressor that you'd buy for filling dive tanks would run you between $3,000 and $4,200. But there's something called a shoebox that can fill these. They take forever but they can fill them at home. You can use it to fill this at home. And there's some Chinese off-brand compressors that are coming along. They can also fill these, but they're not quite ready for prime time. Maybe in uh, maybe two years from now, they might be up to, up to snuff. 
uh, but right now the ones I've looked at I don't recommend them. So back to getting this filled. So you want to before you buy your tank, you're going to want to take this. Uh, you're going to want to call your um, scuba dive shop or go in and see them and ask them if they fill SCBA bottles. If they do and they can fill it, you can even print out a picture of what this valve looks like. You can find a picture of it on our website at airtanksplus.com. And this is called a CGA347 uh, valve. And that's the fitting right here. It's called a CGA347. The nice thing about these SCBA carbon fiber bottles is they have a pressure gauge right here. So you can see how much pressure is remaining in the tank, which makes it really nice if you have multiple tanks. Um, some of the other fill solutions for PCP air guns um, would be a hand pump or an all-in-one system where you have the tank and the valve itself has gauges on it and a fill system where you can fill your, fill your gun from the tank. The downside of that is they're extremely heavy. Those valves are really heavy. They add a lot of weight. And if you get into air guns and you start shooting, especially big bore, you're going to go through a lot of air. <clears throat> or when you're filling um, the air guns that have the larger cylinders, like the carbon fiber cylinders, the FX Impact is a prime example of one. You're going to be filling that to uh, 3,600 PSI. You're going to want a lot of air to do that. So this is the SCBA tank. Went over the sizes. Um, kind of what to look for, what not to look for. If you're going to buy it on eBay, you're going to want to look at this date and make sure you don't buy one that's already expired. And, you know, hopefully you buy one that's already been hydrostatically tested. That'll save you a, uh, that'll save you a step. If you buy a used tank off of eBay, you're going to have to then take that tank in and uh, to a, usually it's a fire equipment company, they'll hydrostatically test tanks. They hydro test uh, fire extinguishers but they'll do these big tanks also uh, many times. So you'll have to get this hydrostatically tested. It gets tested every five years. So when you go to fill this, they're going to look at this and they're going to say, um, is it expired? Yes, no. They're going to say, does it have a current hydro test in the last five years? And this one's 6 of 09. Uh, the answer would be no. If you look at this one, though, here's a hydrostatic test date of uh, June of 2016. I bought this tank uh, earlier this year and it's it's almost Christmas right now so I'm gonna be saying uh, bought this tank last year by mistake but anyway it was bought in 2016 and I had it hydro tested just to make sure everything's good to go on it. The cost to get a tank hydro tested it's gonna run you anywhere from uh, 25 29 up to 35 dollars to get them hydro tested. If you um, if you have a, a super large steel one, I think we just paid $43 to get it hydro tested. Um, it's ready for us to go pick up right now. Uh, so that's hydro testing. It has to be done. I've never seen one fail hydro test. These things are pretty good. There's also, they're also trying to change the rules on these. And I've heard they've done it for um, some government applications. And so that opens up the doors. But they're trying to make these a 30-year uh, tank so you can go those there should be a process hopefully there'll be a process in a year or two where you can take these tanks to a certain test facility and get them retested and certified and use them for up to 30 years but that's not uh, it has not been established yet don't know if it's going to happen but it might when you buy them off eBay you want to make sure that you know if you get a chance to look at the gauge make sure that gauge on the picture goes up to 4500 psi or above 4000 some of them might be mismatched they might be a tank a 4500 psi tank with a mismatched gauge for some reason and um, you want to make sure that that gauge can actually go up to 4500 some of these that you buy on ebay you might have a leaky valve or a bad o-ring because they, they won't send these full of air they'll drain all the air out before they before they ship them to you. So when you get it, you're not really going to know. You may have to have this uh, valve um, overhauled. Another option to buy in these tanks instead of buying them on eBay is we're working with a company right now who uh, they're in the business of recertifying um, fire tanks for firemen and government agencies. What they'll do is they buy the they buy the tanks, they go in, they clean the tanks up, they actually uh, take the valves apart they'll rebuild the valves and they'll check the valves to make sure the valves are okay and they'll also hydrostatically test the tank and put a 
a hydrostat test sticker on the tank so when you get it it'll be hydrostatically tested and you'll be ready to rock you can lock this into a place that can fill SCBA tanks and they'll they'll get it filled right away when you buy the tank um, that has the valve already rebuilt and the tank has been cleaned and hydro tested and uh, certified with a sticker uh, you're ready to go they also warranty the valves so the valves I think have a 10 year warranty and I'll put the description on our product page once we have that product up so the valves are warranted I believe for 10 years the tanks are warranted till end of life so for instance this tank if I were to have bought it from them this tank would be warranted until February of uh, 2019 and then it will be out of warranty another question I get asked a lot is that if I'm going to buy a carbon fiber tank what size tank do I buy that's um, it depends upon your preference and how you're going to be filling your air gun and how much it costs you to get your tank filled so the easy answer is go for the biggest one go for an 88 don't mess with the 44s or the 66s unless you have a specific reason and I'll list one of them in a minute because they're going to charge you a lot of times these places are going to charge you a set amount to fill the dive shop we used um, prior to getting our high pressure compressor they would charge us they have something called a fill club where you buy so many fills if you're a scuba guy and you bring in your tanks and they charge you a fill and it comes off your card and you get a pretty good value on fills doing that well with these SCBA tanks since it's filled to 4500 PSI they charge us two fills so they're going to charge you twice as much to fill this as they're going to charge you for a scuba tank in some cases so they're also going to charge you the same price whether you're filling a 44 um, a small pony tank or a large 88 cubic foot tank so having said that you're going to want to go ahead and just get an 88 cubic foot tank it's going to hold the most amount of air and you're going to get the most bang for your buck when you refill it and you're going to refill it less often so that's what I would do I recommend going with the 88's um, I have 44's 66's the small pony bottles I like the 44 for a specific application it's it's got a, it's got a lot of air and uh, I like it because I'm a hunter and I squirrel hunt off of a trailer setup with a rotating shooting bench and I'll take and I'll leave this connected I'll leave my um, stick man my fill system connected to this and I'll leave it attached to the gun and then every time I need to air up the gun I'll just crack this valve and put some more air in the gun and then uh, uncrack the valve and close it so I like this because the 44 for me will fit directly underneath my bipod so this will sit underneath my air gun will sit like this over the top of it and it's real handy I can just reach over and crack the valve and put more air in my gun uh, but I have a specific reason to use this 44 so if you don't have a specific reason go for the 88's that's my advice and um, if you're gonna buy one on eBay you're gonna buy a tank there's some great values just uh, be careful of these dates because a lot of them you know they're gonna sell you a tank that's um, expired thinking you don't know any better but since you watch this video you know better and uh, just get as many years as you can for your budget whatever your budget allows and to ship these tanks you know it's not unreasonable to ask uh, some of them will include shipping but to ship this tank or an 88 cubic foot tank um, in the US is probably going to run um, average would be 25 25 bucks to ship it ground if you're going to ship it um, try and ship it to Canada or to Hawaii or to Alaska then uh, it's going to be probably fifty dollars or more to uh, ship this tank so that's why they have a, a big price on the shipping of these tanks that's pretty much it um, last thing I could tell you about these tanks is that there's different valve configurations um, make sure you get an SCBA valve looks like this sometimes you'll see a stainless steel fitting coming off here and it, it just won't look like this that's used for uh, life rafts I believe so don't buy one of those tanks with that valve I hope you found this useful and if you uh, you're gonna buy a tank off eBay you're empowered now you know what to look for what not to look for if you're going to uh, if you want to buy one that we offer we're gonna offer one that's already been cleaned up 
and recertified the valve rebuilt with a warranty we'll have that on our website and I'll put a link to it uh, at the bottom of this video and you can go look at those and if you like this video please like it and uh, tell your friends about it and uh, that's it thank you very much for your time again this is Roger from airtanksplus.com feel free to go online view our website contact us um, that's it or there's a number on the on the screen and give us a call and we'll answer any questions you have Thanks for your time.